applying existing assembly along formation level and working out volumes. In the previous video, we have learned how to create cross-section levels using the existing ground level. We have also learned how horizontal alignment and vertical alignment are created. In any project, there will be typical cross-sections which have to be applied along the alignment to get the proposed cross-section and quantities. These typical cross-sections we refer is an assembly in e-survey CAD. Typical cross-sections will vary from road segment to segment depending on project requirements. e-survey CAD allows you to create any number of typical cross-sections. We can selectively apply these cross-sections to various segments along the alignment. In this video, we will learn how to create formation levels for specific alignments, how to apply the assembly on various segments, and how to extract the quantities using eSurvey CAD. For understanding, you will use an existing assembly. In the next video, you will learn how to create a complete assembly. Creating the formation levels for specific alignments. In cross-section tab, under apply assembly or cross-section template group, Select the required alignment. Click on update button to see that the formation levels as designed in vertical tab are imported to the table. Similarly, the formation levels can be imported for other alignments as created. Application of the created assembly. As mentioned earlier, project will have different typical cross sections for a particular length of the total alignment. For example, TCS1 may be from kilometer 0 to 780 meters and TCS2 could be from 810 meters to 1500 meters. Under apply assembly or cross section template group, select from and to changes as required. In our example, you select 0 and 780 and TCS1 as the assembly and save it. Next, select change 810 to 1500 and select TCS2 as the assembly and save it. By saving, we have applied assemblies along the selected alignment. After applying typical cross sections, if you select the cross section from Chainages group, you will notice that cross section is updated with selected assembly. You may also notice that along with cross sections, dimensions for various components are created and the cross section is updated with area calculation table. Application of super elevation. Now, if we notice all the cross sections, including the one along the curve, we may see that all the cross sections have same camber as we have defined in typical cross section. However, it is expected that wherever there are curves in horizontal alignment, the camber value has to change from section to section to accommodate super elevation and the road needs to be widened along the curve for smooth movement of traffic. You can update the super elevation to each cross section for full alignment with a single operation. Click on variable button. Select the road for which you want to apply the super elevation. Select super elevation and widening from design option and click on create button. By doing this operation, eSurvey CAD will automatically update the camber values and road width values for each cross section for which camber is different from the default value. Further, in this window, you can specifically change values of variable as per the project requirement. It is not discussed in detail considering scope of this particular video. Extraction of quantities. After applying super elevation and widening values for the cross section, if we select the cross section of a curve portion of the road, we may notice that cross section with super elevation and respective widening is ready. Not only that, cross section is also updated with area report. We can generate extensive reports related to quantities by selecting report items listed under report icon. Note that eSurvey CAD treats design layers and variable layers separately. Design layers are those which have definite shape with respect to width and depth. Example, BC, DBM, subgrade, etc. Whereas variable layers are those which vary from section to section, example, cutting, filling, PCC, median fill, etc. eSurvey CAD allows you to configure which layer value you want to show in cross section. This can be done while designing the assembly. Creating assembly is explained in next chapter. Thank you.